So Sarsabu did their thing again and they changed a few more areas without saying anything or at least I don't remember them saying anything because I did go through their news article and I don't think they said anything anywhere about it. So as I said, Sarsabu updated three areas in Moorland during this week's update or I guess during the previous week's update during the most recent update with probably be the best thing to say but yeah i just thought that we would go over them and check them all out because i think it's a really big improvement and i'm sure people have noticed but i haven't really seen anyone like talking about it so i just wanted to check it out so as always i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do make sure to subscribe it really means a lot and now let's get into it and also sso gave us a new code or i guess two new codes for their birthday one of them has actually sadly expired it was a star rider code but sso is going to give out a new three day free star rider codes every friday so make sure to keep an eye out on their social media pages but i will try to make videos about those as well but they also gave us star riders a code that gives us a free like whole outfit set which looks so good the code is called b day set sr1 but i'm kind of annoyed because the code doesn't work for me even though as i said that the code expires on october 4th so yeah what's up with that anyway oh my gosh i'm actually really enjoying the uh birthday festivities they're so fun and oh my gosh i love the set that we get from i think it's the trivia like the sweater looks so good everything just i love the colors i love the design like it looks amazing so i'm honestly so happy and i feel like this flower i don't even know what it's called the flower thingy really goes well with it but yeah let's just go check out the updated areas i guess the first one you could kind of say is this one with like the chickens and stuff but oh my gosh why okay uh, i guess we could say the first area is this one though i don't know if this is a permanent addition i don't think it is though i wouldn't mind it i kind of like the house and and it adds something to the area i guess though the house is floating which is kind of weird i guess the chickens are honestly really cute but yeah i don't think this is a permanent addition oh my gosh they move i wow okay i haven't noticed that yet and someone's doing the cake quest i hope they're doing well but oh my gosh what is up with the jumping okay let's just pick up the recyclable but anyway the second like area that sso area or i guess a house that sso updated that will be a permanent addition is jasper's old house it has new graphics and i just think it's a very big improvement it looks really really good though the only thing that i would like more is if the wood was the same color as the trees here because i don't know but i guess it does look nice wait did the inside change oh no <laughs> it's the same old nostalgic graphics i honestly kind of love it wait what's this why do i not remember okay whatever and there's a spider here i will just leave it be honestly i guess this is jasper's new house oh my gosh wait it looks the exact same or i guess it has the same graphics as the updated house of or i guess one of the like side houses of that one German family that lives in Fergrove that SSO also updated recently. But yeah, I just feel like it overall looks really nice. It doesn't really blend in that well, but I guess that's just star stable for you. Anyway, let's get on to the next area, which is the GED area. Oh my gosh, when I ran through this area on Wednesday, I was really shocked because I just feel like it looks so much different. It just looks so different, like everything, I guess. Uh, the containers look so okay let's just pick up the recyclable but yeah the containers look so much different like there's so many new like different details which i honestly kind of love like it looks so good i guess the wood looks the same it might be a bit updated but uh i'm not completely sure honestly oh my gosh just picking up the recyclables oh my gosh i remember this area looked so much different i mean as different as this area could look i guess and yeah, we just have more containers. We have a yellow ladder and like, like sacks of sand. I don't think it's sand, but yeah, whatever. We also have two new cars, which just look so funny to me for some reason. Like, I don't really like the um, 
shaded windows they just look so so cartoony it feels as though sso took this to cars out of a website where you can get free things for your game like oh get this free car to add to your game and then there's this i honestly don't even know what you would call it in english and i honestly love all of the greenery i don't think there was this much before and i feel like it looks very good though I feel like it doesn't really fit in with the image of GED. I think it would be better if there were more like dead trees and like burnt grass if anything. Especially since there's an oil leak like right here. Like how are the trees and grass and all of like all of the other like nature stuff flourishing where when there's this right here like I don't know. So yeah we have an oil leak a another ladder a like what is this a trash can what does it say i don't know but yeah i think it looks good there's the light wait is the light i i think it is also updated oh my gosh i just think it looks so good but yeah just more containers more stuff to build yeah i just don't even know what i'm talking about wait did the did the sign with mr campbell change is it not here anymore wasn't it um, did they remove it or did it get removed during the quests? Like, I don't even remember. Oh my gosh, I'm picking up all of the recyclables, but oh, there's another one. I don't, I don't even know why I'm doing it because obviously I finished with the big bonnies like quest and whatever, but I just kind of, I don't know. I just do it, I guess. I always pick up stuff if it's on the way. But anyway, we're on the way to the third and last location where Sorcible changed the graphics and that is the Damascus Mine, I think it's pronounced. And I just think this is the best updated area out of the three. It looks so good. I love all of the barrels. They look so nice. The torches, just the updated like just the updated rocks and everything. Oh, there's a hole in here. Wait, was this here before? I guess it's good that it's covered, but it's not covered that well, I guess. There's some more torches and barrels and this dead end and a pickaxe, some spider web. Wait, oh my gosh, we can actually compare the old and the new graphics. And though I will miss the old ones as always, I just think the new ones are such an improvement. Oh my gosh, like, look at the difference. I think this is one of the cases where Sorcible actually, like, updated and upgraded the area instead of completely changing it, and I just love it. I feel like they saw what this, like, mine was, and they were like, you know what? We're just going to improve it and make it better and not, like, completely change it. I did watch some old SSO videos a few days ago, and it the game has changed so much, but as much as I miss the old graphics and everything, the game looks so much better and I just love it, I guess. So let's go to this part and there's another hole in the ground. Oh my gosh, and there's like a a torch missing. There's a light in here. There's another torch. The word torch really reminds me of the poem. What is it called? Flanders Fields, maybe? I'm not even sure. I know it's like, you know the dead are going to pass the torch to us or something like that i actually really love that poem it's so i don't know nice i guess okay this area is kind of interesting okay there's there's a what is this what's this oh my gosh let's take a closer look um oh my gosh is it bugs oh okay uh they i mean they're kind of cute but i don't like them oh my gosh does anyone remember the spoilers of the new magic horses the spoilers said that they're gonna like light up or have like some sort of effect are they going to like shine like these bugs that would actually be so cool and i would definitely buy both of them one of them oh my gosh oh and they look so good i love them but yeah there's more spider webs pickaxes and the other dead end of this mine and oh my gosh we can compare the old and the new graphics again and again i just i love how star civil changed this area it looks so good and it's just such a big improvement honestly in the past like i don't know six months maybe even this whole year 
I feel like Star Stable has really turned a new leaf. I feel like Star Stable has really started to actually do what they should have done years ago. And though I really disagree with some of their decisions, I do think that compared to, I don't know, some of the previous years, they're doing really well. I don't think there's any other area that they updated. But as I said before, I'm really liking this birthday festival. It's really cool. Oh, that person has the whole like set. I don't know. It just looks very familiar. Oh my gosh. I hate the surveys. Right when you get to Moreland, they start spamming you with them and it is so annoying. Oh my gosh. I feel like they should have made it so that you get one during your gameplay and not like continu continually get spammed with them. I feel like it was the most annoying during the, uh, what was it, the like Western festival when you were being chased by the wolves and Star Stable was like, you know what, you should probably stop and let us know what you think about, I don't even know what the topic was back then, but I remember I got so annoyed, oh my gosh. But anyway, I think this is gonna be it for today's video. Let me know what you think about these three areas that Star Stable updated, I honestly think they did such a good job. I just love the areas. I guess my least favorite are the cars in the GED area. And I don't think Jasper's house fits like all of the other things here. But that's just what Star Stable does. Like they did the same thing with the riding arena. It just looks so out of place. And I mean, it looks good, but it doesn't look like it belongs, if you know what I mean. But yeah, overall, I think they did a really good job. And and yeah, I'm just happy that they did it. I'm still confused as to why they didn't say anything. And I'm confused as to why the code that gives you the free items, like the free outfit set, doesn't work for me. Like I, I don't know. It just said that the code isn't valid for my account, which is very fun. Like Star Stable, I want to get the outfit. Why does it not work? It says that it expires on October 4th. So I still have plenty of time to redeem it and it doesn't work on any of my Star Rider accounts, like paid Star Rider accounts, which is very fun. But yeah, anyway, again, I just hope you enjoyed this video as always. Let me know what you think about all of it and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye!